hello and welcome back to TGTV and more specifically, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. JE onto the channel, welcome back mate. Thanks for having me back. We're here. So today we have got quite an informative video for change on this channel. We might actually learn something today, not on our usual guff. We are here today with your Range Rover because we, we have both become very aware recently of a spate of crime that's actually been quite prevalent over the past few years, but recently it has got worse. And traditional security devices on our Range Rovers are now pretty much useless. So we've taken drastic but essential measures here at Pandora London, have we not? We we've have. got your Range Rover in here. We have. And I'm going to explain what's happened to my Range Rovers as well, potentially in this video, if I want to be honest with you all, which I might not do. Let's go inside then. We're going to get to grips with your Range Rover. We're going to talk through why what we're doing is essential uh, and why everyone with an SUV or a high value prestige car should be looking at updating their security systems 100%. ASAP. So let's go. So we're here with the Range Rover. As you know, yes, it comes with an alarm. Yes, it comes with a mobilizer. And yes, actually, let's be honest about it. I did add additional security before, but thefts are going crazy. Every day my inbox is unfortunately someone saying, can you reshare my car's being nicked? And a lot of times it's a JLR product. Let's not beat around the bush. The standard system is as useful as a chocolate teapot, let's be honest. The additional security I'm not going to go into that I put on them, but I know good friends that have had cards nicked using the security that I was using, and so I'm not taking any chances. At so all. what did you have on the car before? What, and and this, is, this is actually the same as what I've had on my car before. Yeah, I can say it now because it, it, it's gone. So I had a ghost on there, so a lot of people watching this probably had a ghost immobilizer. I'm not here to slate brands or anything. I'm just conscious I've had good friends with the same security I had in place have their car, car stolen. That's enough for me. I'm not taking a chance on that. We I'm actually not. had a friend that went for a coffee, left his car outside, his Range Rover outside. He had a ghost and the car actually went yeah. when he was in a coffee shop. So they yeah, used- I'm not saying it doesn't do something, but it's not enough for me and it's not enough in the modern age and I'm not taking any risks. I'm someone that's very calculated with what I do. I love that car. I will not get insured on another one if it gets nicked. And I, I always want to have a Range Rover. So yeah, as soon as I heard that, I was like, right, Who's the best in the game? Who do I need to go to? Who has additional measures that will stop it going missing in the first place? Fast forward, I'm a Pandora London. So, these guys will do trackers and whatnot and the usual yeah. kind of stuff that your insurance company will demand, but uh, over and above a tracker, uh, this is this system here. It's gonna get techie, so do... Yeah. I hope you've been paying attention because you've just had a walk around of the system. I have. I have. Good, right, okay, so. Let's kick off then. What do we have here now on the car? What is the name of the package and what are we gonna go for? And this does apply as well. So the system you see here applies to BMWs. It applies to uh, pretty much every single prestige brand. It pretty much works in exactly yeah, yeah, the same way. So um, the package for this will be called the JLR package. If you ask the guys here, they'll know what you mean. Uh, but don't think you can't use it if you've got an Audi RS or whatever it is. All these things with keyless entry, they all get pinched and they can pinch them in less than a minute. It's actually very, very scary. Yeah, it is. So yeah, this is the Range Rover package. I've gone for obviously it's the Range Rover. So if you have a Range Rover, nice and easy, you just ring up to sell the Range Rover package. Uh, basically, there's loads of different ways, and the guys have been really informed, there's loads of different ways that these go missing, some of which I knew about and some of which I didn't actually know about, which scared me even further, but a good thing that I know. Um, but in essence, many of these are pinched from relay theft, so where they basically boost the signal of your key and then they can open it as if they have your key present, or they may um, be sat in a car near you and then they can basically grab the code the guys were explaining here and basically lock the car on your bike. And a new one that they've started doing recently is on the back of these cars, cutting a hole. I'm not actually sure on the brand new one where they cut the hole. They'll cut it somewhere. They cut a hole on the back, actually links up to the OBD port. But you can actually get in via the back, because some of this, that's plastic. So they just chop through that, get to the wiring, get into your OBD, program a new key, and off they go. Literally within a minute. Yeah. So this system that you've got fitted actually is designed to, well, it completely eradicates it's, that it's issue. It's crazy. I mean, it took 40 minutes for a comprehensive handover, so I fully understand the system, what it's capable of. Let's make it simple for people watching, but this is so important, actually really interesting for anyone that's got one of the cars you mentioned. So first and foremost, the main thing really is, I'll show you basic stuff. It's a lot more aware of what's going on. So for instance, it's just a little vibration for the car. Steps off the alarm. I better silence it now because people will be sick of the sound of it. <laughs> so that was actually a, a bigger impact. And I can change the sensitivity of all of these. I'm going to arm it again. If there's a smaller little disturbance to it, let me arm it. Give it a sec to do its thing. I think it takes a few seconds to rearm. But if there's a smaller impact, which I'll do in a second, it does another sort of warning chirp as well. Yeah. I think that's quite good just for car parts, people opening doors and just not being aware of your car before you- Very good. That's a, that's a very minor part of it. Cool. Next thing is not even being able to get in the car. 
So without going So you've got into... key guard with this. Yeah. So, so the... effectively, everyone's seen the little Faraday cage, Faraday boxes, the little kind of pouches and, and whatnot. Yeah. Uh, but actually, this kind of builds the car into one of those. It turns yeah. the car into its own Faraday cage. So... so I don't want them in there in the first place. So this is going to prevent those methods we just talked about being used to even access my car. So they're not even in there fiddling around. There's a lot of people, what they don't understand is even if you've got a system that stops your car from being driven away, actually a lot of the main, main issue is that people get in, they get in the car and then they rip the thing apart inside to find ghosts, to find trackers and get rid of all the security inside. You don't want them in your car in the first place. And actually um, there's an argument for having steering locks, if you use a steering lock, to have it unlocked on the car because people do get in, they saw them off, they destroy the steering wheel only to find that they can't then start the car and get away with it. And then you're left with a car that's pretty much written off from the inside out. Anyway, so, go. So that key card's basically preventing them doing all the things they can do in the show first Show me what you've got, show, show me the key card. So, I've got my car key, and I'm not going to go into too much detail because obviously don't want everyone knowing my life. But you have something else with it, which is attached somewhere else. I did not together, and that's basically like you say, putting the car in a Faraday cage type situation, which aren't faultless, by the way, and do not work the whole time, and do have a limited lifespan, and basically prevent someone even having the ability to have a clone key, if you like, to even access the car in the first place. Yep. So if that's not present, they can't get in the car in the first place. Even if they do get into the car, they're going to have a problem as well. Yeah. Yep. So if one of the components isn't present, they can't start the car. Okay, and there is an app that comes with yes, this as well. Yes, there's an app well. on my phone as well, which we'll go through, and I'm sure that'll be flashing on the screen and doing what have you. So we're talking about the key guard. Basically, the car's in a Faraday pouch, but without it being in a Faraday pouch. That's the kind of analogy we're using, and just to showcase that. So even if someone gets your key, or programs another key, or grabs a code off this key and makes their own key, they can't get in the car. Or they use the method of attack we're talking about in the back, they just can't get in it. So that in itself is like we were saying, I don't want someone in the car, like with your instincts, getting in, nicking the dog or whatever it is, they just can't get in in the first place, which... They can't get in the car, nick your dog, I'm glad you brought up dogs. Yeah. So they can't get in to nick your dogs and uh, relay the signal from the key. Yeah. But the other important thing, and we'll get onto this, if they do get in and drive off with your dogs in the car or your kids or your other half, I mean, most importantly, the dogs, of course, you can shut the car down remotely. You'll get a text message that your car's on the move, you'll be able to see where it's going and you can actually shut the car down safely. So that, for me, is the game changer. And actually, we've spoken to someone that has had exactly this. They've had this system and he's got two Samoids, they're in the car um, and, and you know, they didn't go, they didn't go walkies didn't quite literally. Them. Yeah, unbelievable. Very, very, very important feature. So yeah, when I originally inquired about getting the alarm system, I put in touch with Ricky, who is the brains behind it, and we'll do a lot better uh, at explaining what I've gone for here, but hopefully I'll put it in enough terms. But anyway, Ricky's the, the brains of this, and I know that the guys here have actually put together something for people if they are looking to upgrade their security for people that have watched this video, which is kind of them. So I'll let you explain a bit more about that in yourself in a better way. So this package, the Range Rover package, specifically designed here for every JLR group vehicle, not specifically the Range Rover itself. It has been over a year in the making. The reason behind it, we wanted to put something that covers all of the ways that these vehicles are currently targeted and also with the premise further down the line, if there's additional ways that these vehicles are going to be targeted, you're set up primarily to be in a position to be updated to combat those ways of theft. So I just want to say thank you to the guys for coming down. Absolute pleasure to meet you Thanks both. For having us. Yeah. Thank you for taking my car. <laughs> Perfect. And you get 12 month subscription if you mention either him or myself um, when you come down here. And not just for the JLR package either, for all varying vehicles. Is that correct? That's perfect. Perfect. Any vehicle that you've got, we can create a bespoke package for it. We also have some off the shelf packages ready and waiting to go. Perfect. Thank you very much, sir. I appreciate that. There we go. Um, right, talk us through the rest of the features then, and I'm sure we'll be told off if we get some of it wrong. So, no pressure. Let's go. So like I say, the key won't open the car that these criminals are using in their normal methods with this Pandora. If they smash the window, of course you could smash the window, they can get in, but they can't start the car. Even if they drive off with my keys, there's an anti-hijack method. So we're now in anti-hijack mode, so the car knows it's being hijacked. It gives you the beeping and the lights as well to give you a warning, and obviously if someone's in your car hijacking it, it's giving the person behind warning that the car might be doing something it shouldn't be, so no one piles into the back of it and destroys the car. And yeah, and once it's got into this mode, so now if I try and drive the car away... Go on then, try and drive it. Go. <laughs> you 
what's called an automatic hijack mode. That's mayhem. <laughs> That's chaos. So that basically means that the car will be brought to a stop with them in my car without me actually physically running after them and risking my life to do so. And in an example, if Clever Clogs are watching this thing, oh, someone breaks in, they rob my key and the associated tag that needs to start the car, there's a remote immobilization feature, which is incredible. So even if the criminal's driving off in your car and you're nowhere near it, there's a system you can employ that will bring the car to a stop, even if they've nicked everything to do with the car as well. So every single journey or part of the way that a criminal could use conventional methods, violence, attack you, whatever, the Pandora has a solution to that, which is why it's a holistic approach. And it's ultimately, for me, it's either do it properly or don't bother. And like we were saying, there's a really clever app that goes with it. So any notification that might be to do with the car in terms of it's being nudged or someone's tried to open it or unlocked it or whatever it happens to be, you can get SMS updates as well as not just an app update, which we know we get loads of notifications on a daily basis. And actually in the app, you can customize whether you want an SMS, a phone call or, or a notification. So yeah, I really, really like that feature. It's just useful and you know what's going on with your car when you're not necessarily present. Battery life, how much battery the car's got, relevant for me. I don't drive it a huge amount. Loads of other cool features that are really, really helpful. We'll actually show you uh, fuel level as well on, yeah. on some particular yeah. manufacturers um, and also whether it's running, whether it's unlocked, the whole thing. And there's very, very other clever. features you can build in. I didn't opt for it, but you can build in remote start if you want to remote start or warm up your car before you get there in the morning or for people that don't use their car a huge amount. You can remote start your car, but the car still can't be stolen to allow it to go for a cycle to keep your battery alive. So it will tell you your battery's low on your car. You can then remote start from wherever you are but they can't steal the car even though it started. It can run for a 12 minute cycle, whatever it needs to do, and replenish your battery. So yeah, it's, it's actually crazy, it's mind blowing. Wowzers. Lots of info there, and I just wanna cover off some things that people will probably be saying in the comments. So, tracker them. Yes, trackers work. If your car gets nicked, it can probably get found down the line, potentially, if they haven't ripped it out, which, most car thieves know that prestige vehicles have trackers. They know where they're usually hidden. Um, it gets ripped out. In the case where you get your car back, you have a stolen recovered car back in your hands. Cannibalized. That's, <laughs> that's, it's probably ripped apart. And also you've got a stolen recovered car. It's registered as such. And the resale value is absolutely demolished. So ideally, if your car does go, you probably don't want it back. So trackers, yes, insurance demand them. But actually, they don't really help you as a consumer and as a car owner. The second thing we touched on at the start was ghosts. Uh, I've had a ghost in all my Range Rovers and SUVs to date um, but again they're very very easily bypassed anyone with half an ounce of sense in this little world will know exactly where um, any one of about three different locations pretty much and even a little look on YouTube will tell you probably where these things are going to be found in these cars so um, ghosts they are, are a very thin layer of additional security and they do work uh, and get rid of your very entry level early learning center level of thief not, it wasn't enough for me and I know I sadly know people who's have gone with the, with the ghost. Realise there's a lot of information in this video. It's not the most racy video, but actually I think it's probably one of the most valuable valuable ones I've actually put out. I do put out a lot of nonsense, but I do think this is actually very important for those that have uh, prestige vehicles. Um, one thing as well, yeah. Porsche and other brands that we thought were safe, there's loads of brands that I thought were safe, are mm. going walkies now. So yeah, chatting to the guys here, they're saying they're getting a lot more Porsches going walkies. Obviously, they're um, ear to the ground with what's going on crime-wise. And a lot of the people that come in will actually come in and get all this stuff after something's happened. Whereas, realistically, you should, of course, be doing this before, before it happens to you. But mm. humans being humans, most people uh, close the door after the horse is bolted or whatever the phrase is. Yeah. So. Um, but they are saying a lot of Porsches are going walkies. It used to just be X5s and Range Rovers. Um, but now it's typically most things with keyless entry are getting pinched. And all these car groups, you know, uh, VAG, they're all sharing tech now. So if, you're, if your Range Rover's getting nicked, your Jag's getting nicked. If your Audi's getting nicked, your Skoda's getting nicked. Your Skoda's getting nicked, um, you know, your Bentley's getting nicked. They're all sharing technology. So, um, yeah, really important. I think that's pretty much it. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments below. We'll get, uh, we'll get back to you. Uh, but of course, contact Pandora because they are the experts. And um, yeah, you know how pretty much an unstealable car. You know what, I feel I'm really relieved really relieved and that sounds ridiculous but i was feeling a bit vulnerable before so and if you drive down the road as well and you don't have your associated tag or whatever it is that comes with the key we're going to be very cagey about that um your car will come to a halt but it'll actually warn you beforehand it'll warn you well in advance it'll start beeping start flashing it'll tell you um that it's gonna gonna come to a halt it's not just gonna cut out on you which is all very good for someone that's forgetful like me <laughs> um it's all pretty much more on proof as well so again yeah 
Very, very good. Um, I'm going to be getting systems fitted to all my uh, my kind of daily cars um, and some of the prestige supercar stuff as well. So I'm going to be doing a little bit more on that and be explaining down the line. I've got a new daily coming to the channel. Uh, I don't have any of my Range Rovers anymore. I sold all my allocations back to the main dealers, made a chunky pile of profit on them. So that's happy days. And this is the only one that's actually left in the kind of generic stable at the moment so um that's why you haven't seen my range rovers because they've all gone i've uh, taken profit out of them which is very nice um i think that's it it is we'll leave the contact man. details for pandora below uh, but give the guys a shout they'll obviously do insurance approved trackers and anything else you want security wise as well but Couldn't for now really good i think that's the end of yep. this video thank you very much for watching do subscribe blah 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 and i'll see you all very soon bye <laughs>